Hi there, sorry to interrupt, but I just have to share something with you. It's with regards to superscript and subscript and Excel. Now in Word, it's really quite easy to do superscript and subscript because you have those buttons on your ribbon. But with Excel, that's not so much the case. Let me just zoom in on this blank spreadsheet. Now what I mean by superscript, I always say to the young ones, superscript's like Superman, it lifts things up. So something that would be superscript would be a degree sign, which is an O lifted up or would be squared, 100 meters squared, because the two's lifted up, or even 100 meters cubed because the three's lifted up. Now in the past, we've gone like 100 meters, and then I wanted to do a squared, so I've gone right, uh, I've gone two, then I've selected it, then I've right clicked it, gone into format cells and chosen superscript, because there's no superscript button on my ribbon. And I've chosen okay, and that's how we've accomplished superscript. Now that got very cumbersome very quickly. So what some people have decided is if they go 100M that you can use an Alt key combination. So if I hold the Alt key and I've got to use my number pad, but Alt 0178 is squared. Holding the Alt key and pressing 0178, then let the Alt key go, will give you squared as well. But I want to share with you a more simplistic method again of getting squared and that's if I go 100M and use your Windows logo key. If you use your Windows logo key in full stop you bring up the symbols and emoji side of Windows. Now it may look a little bit different between Windows 10 and Windows 11 but in both versions you'll find a symbols option at the top and in there you'll be able to choose symbols such as squared, cubed, degrees and this is much quicker than having to remember alt 0178 for squared, alt 0179 for cubed and alt 0176 for degrees. Just go windows full stop in any application, Word, Excel, Outlook, anywhere that you need a, a squared or a cubed or a, an arrow key or a um, degrees option, anything that's not on your keyboard Windows logo key and full stop is your go-to. I used it recently, I had a, a vendor application form and it was a PDF file that they'd sent me and I had to tick various options so I went Windows logo key full stop and I started using ticks and I started putting ticks into the actual PDF file. So I hope you like that, it's definitely the way to insert characters that are not on your keyboard including the multi vowels. So R, E, E, or U in uppercase or lowercase, you'll find those if you go Windows full stop and have a look at your symbols. Do enjoy. Catch you later. Bye.